Hello, my name is Mark, and I am back here on World Town FC for the War Premier League's contenders. All right, for 2015-2016 season, second half, and here are three teams that I call the dark horses, the the teams that can show maybe they have left and might be able to, you know, get something out of this season. All right, so the first team is the Manchester United FC, the Red Devils under Louis Van Gaal. And I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's trying to keep his job until the end of the season. I'd imagine, unless he does horrible, then he loses his job, and well, what do you know? And pretty much have a strong defense and a pretty weak offense. And usually they seem to be inconsistent lately. Maybe they'll get their act together, I don't know. But, yeah, this is a little trouble. Their strong defense is only good when it's good, and, you know, when it's bad, it's, it's really bad. Um, their offense is pretty mediocre. Drop off of, of uh, Wayne Real killed them. So, yeah, key players, obviously, going to be David De Gea. He's been king last year. Saving them them games, eh? <laughs> and then there's Chris Smalling in the back line. He seems to be a big standout for them. Morgan Schneiderlin as well, holding the holding the midfield, trying. And then uh, Memphis Depay, he's done pretty poorly this season, but I believe Memphis, you know, he's going to take some time, obviously, to adjust, but uh, he should, I mean, in all, I mean, we want him to score, right? He was uh, scoring goals like crazy in the Dutch league, but I guess that's the Dutch league for you. A lot of high scoring, and obviously with Van Gaal playing a very, you know, defensive, you know, as they say, negative football, yeah, Depay isn't going to score many goals, unfortunately. And then last but not least is the inform Mar Mar um, Marche Martial. I don't know, it's hard to say, I, I just, it's easier to say the English accent, Marshall. Um, but I'm going to use the English word for it, forgive me. If there are any French viewers out there, but I can't, it's difficult for me to pronounce it, the French accent. But uh, Marshall, um, he's uh, pretty much, I think, their top goal. I don't know. He scores goals when it counts, I guess, for such a young guy. Yeah, we, some, at least he's scoring, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Somebody has a score, right? This guy could be it. Um, he's young. I bet he's willing to, you know, score some goals to win some games, I hope. And yeah, he's uh, he's gonna be the hopes, I guess. To be honest, I don't see anyone else like Ro Rooney. Nah, it's not happening, man. He's I don't know what's happening, but a lot of people say his his form is yeah is gonna be like that for a while. And Fellini, I think he's a midfielder. I don't know why he's played a striker a lot, but uh, whatever. Next up is gonna be Crystal Palace FC. Alan Part managed by Alan Pardew. Um, I don't have much to say about them. I don't watch them, but they do they're doing well right now, so that's something for you. Key players that I that I got from like Squaga Dave would be Scott Dan, Johan Kabai, and Yannick Balassi. Uh, these three seem to be doing very well, uh, currently this season. And then my one of my favorite teams, just because of you know who, the manager, Liverpool FC, managed by Jurgen Klopp and his famous Gagan pressing. Which is essentially, you know, heavy, high pressing and essentially counter attack football. The five or the six guys that I think are going to be leading this will be Sim Simon Mignole, uh, goalkeeper, obviously, and a solid goalkeeper to, you know, protect the goal. And Matamau Sacco going to be holding the back line. Lucas Leva winning, winning the, winning the ball in the midfield. Adam Lalana, hopefully. Doing something, I guess, you know, working hard in the midfield, trying to win the ball back and giving some assists, scoring some goals, who knows. And then Philippe Coutinho, Correa, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but Coutinho will be another important player, I think. He's uh, he's shown what he can do, he's talented, and, you know, if he if it's uh, if his hits, if it's hits his day, he will score his goals. And then Christian Benteke as well, hopefully he'll consistently score goals and uh, lead them to victory. And then one guy I didn't put on there is obviously uh, Divrock Origi, I think. Who knows, maybe this is his year to shine. He can pre he can score goals in the, I think it was the FA, 
or was it the League Cup? I don't remember. He scored three goals, or at least two of them. He actually really did score, uh, but he got rewarded awarded three. He, the two goals he scored is like some quality there, definitely. You know, if it's if he's on his day, he can score his goals. But I guess we'll just have to wait. It'd be nice to have a young, you know, young player score goals and as part of, uh, I believe that'd be part of uh, Klopp's philosophy. He likes to develop young players and turn them into superstars, as always. Anyway, that's about it for the teams I believe will be the dark horses in the Premier League. Um, leave, uh, if you learned something or whatever you got to say, you know, leave a comment below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to YouTube channel if you're new. Two links below. Facebook and Twitter, check that out. You always, you will always get updates from me. And uh, thanks for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all next time.